The Irishman is a new film by Martin Scorsese starring Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, and Al Pacino. I don't mean to alarm you, but I heard it's one of them gangster pictures. Bang! The writing is great, with the tone being mostly serious, but there's a sprinkle of Wolf of Wall Street thrown in. Are you looking at my ears? I think Pacino will get a nomination since he has the showiest role, but De Niro's quiet panic is equally well done. Ray Romano is surprisingly good. His scenes all have this low-key humorous feel without trying too hard, and there's a conversation about a sea creature that really spoke to me. What kind of fish? Another thing I enjoy is when you see people laughing and joking, and text comes up telling you how they were violently murdered to death until they died. The film has some excellent shots, but I think most of them are just alright. Although I have been watching Mr. Robot and the cinematography on there is so consistently god tier it's kind of ruined everything else. Mwah. Overall I really like the movie but I do have several nitpicks. I'll start with what is by far the most egregious. And, and then we go across Ohio all the way to Toledo. The captions are slightly wrong about 28% of the time so I will be filing my 7th and 8th lawsuits against Netflix. It's not something I take joy in but I have to protect the integrity of the subtitle and this great nation. Next thing is I wish there were more meaningful murders in the movie. A lot of people get shot but I don't have any attachment to most of them so I don't care that much. The film also tells you what happened to Hoffa early on and I feel like it's an unnecessary spoiler. It's true that lots of people know that Jimmy Hoffa disappeared, but there's also lots of people that don't even know who Jimmy Hoffa is. Then there's the parts with De Niro's daughters. Daddy, you have no idea what it was like for us. It could be really moving stuff, but the actresses don't get enough screen time for us to form any sort of meaningful connection with them. Speaking of actresses, I don't think modern day Jim Norton was the best choice to play Don Rickles. They should have got Billy Blue Boy. Go fuck all your friends! I don't give a fuck! Towards the end, there's a scene where the characters reflect on everything. It's good, but I wish it had been longer. It gave me the same melancholy Thomas Passing Me By vibes as Virtue's Last Reward, except VLR took more time to talk through everything, so it hit much harder. Last thing, the original title, I Heard You Paint Houses, which is still in the film, is way better than The Irishman, which just sounds like a generic Netflix movie. But if I had to rate this movie, I'd give it an 8.1 false positive HIV test out of 10 needless suicides. You should also remember that if you can try to age from a sexual partner, you have 72 hours to take the retrovirals before you become irreversibly HIV positive. So if you meet a cute guy at the club and he calls you 71 hours after the fact, you should make sure your phone isn't dead. My next video will be reviewing Mr. Stuckman's short film, so that should be interesting. I'm going to go load up on video games I'll probably never play, and I'll see you on the next one. Everything means nothing to me.